are as higgly piggly as we've ever been, everybody. All right. We are higgly and piggly, and your pictures may vary <laughs> on the show. So welcome, everybody, to the comedy show where Steve Goody, Patty Vasquez, and I vacillate between panic and what the hell is going to happen next every week. And just giving up. And just giving up. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but of course, we also invite funny and talented people here who have to sit through my yammering so they can class up the joint later. <laughs> uh, and this week is no exception. No exception. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time. Jeff, you know how long it's been? My God. A long time. Long, long time. Uh, he's been so busy. He's so busy. How busy is he? He's so busy that every flight attendant working today has gotten hair care tips from him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Double Dry Bar himself, Jeff Shaw is back. Yes. Hey. Hey. Jeff, have you paid off that second dry bar yet? <laughs> okay. He's not going to talk or be listening. He's going to save himself for the show. I, uh, I respect that. Now, uh, Jeff Thank used to be on a couple times a month, remember? We used to uh, mm -hmm. try out new material and hang out. And then, unlike the rest of us, people started hiring him and, <laughs> uh, in the real world. And he uh, dropped us like a bad smell in the fridge. And uh, <laughs> he's getting what we're all wishing we'd get money. He's making money. Uh, well, I've been wanting to tell you guys, but I'm just afraid of bre breaking the news to you. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Um, COVID ended three years ago. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, left the house. Yeah, oh my God. I know. Did anyone else know this? Oh my no, God. Stores are open. Movie theaters are open. Huh. You can yeah. sit down in a restaurant now. You can go to a comedy club. Oh my God! It can't be true. There's a movie about pop tarts. Yes, we, yes. <laughs> That's what we have to live with—a pop tart movie. For God's sakes. Thanks. All right, and of course, we're hoping to have a hilarious musician and comedian with a new album out, Tom Rockwell. Let's see how that pans out. It's going to be Acapella Rockwell. Uh, uh, be I... Hey, that'll be great. Yeah. Acapella Rockwell would be fantastic. But now buckle your seatbelts because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Here we go. <laughs> hey, did you see last Saturday, which was like two days ago, was the Great <laughs> Saunter in Manhattan. You ever heard of the Great Saunter? Where participants no. all around New York City, 2,500 of them, walk 32 miles in one day around New York City. Yep. Uh, 22 of those miles are just avoiding creepy costume characters in Times Square. It is a super fun day. Uh, this year was extra fun because they finally banned the guy who spent the whole day yelling, I'm walking here. <laughs> <laughs> Usually Steve says that during the witch song. Thanks for dusting <laughs> off that joke. I'm, 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 what what animal is that? A, a goose? Is that goose? Yeah, it's a goose. Um, okay. Okay. Hey, a French female prison guard is on trial for planting what is called the kiss of death on two incognito mafia bosses so their rivals could gun them down. That is the intrigue in France. Is that amazing? Wow. Uh, one of the gang members will be remembered for his last words after being shot. And I didn't get any tongue. <laughs> <laughs> French. <laughs> All right. This is when your dad comes in when yep. the bad stuff's Perfect. over. Uh, oh, now on to it. Trump is still on trial. And the judge has admonished and fined the big orange silly putty again. <laughs> oh my god how many times is this gonna happen <laughs> last week hope hicks cried on the stand not from her testimony but because it smelled like someone waved a three-week dead possum in front of her face as she walked by the defense table tears this week eric trump will sit in the front row right next to his dad to support him. In a light moment, they had a kerfuffle when Eric said, where do I plug in my CPAP? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Let's stop the smell. That's nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I forgot this one. Up <laughs> oh, now, you've all seen the recent online debate a recent online debate showed that women, if alone in the woods, which much, would much rather encounter a bear than a man. 
<laughs> yep. yep. One in seven. Only one woman picked man out of seven women. Uh, this is based <laughs> on the fact that most women have met a man. <laughs> That's based. <laughs> yeah. The information has angered many men who began to violently rant, further proving and not getting the point. <laughs> now, on the good side, women did overwhelmingly choose men, however, uh, when those men identified as a bear because they're most likely a bottom. <laughs> hey. and they love to dish about their boyfriends nice oh my goodness nice all right steve said nice and i like how you said you can miss the point and make the point at the same time that that's right good. yeah you can yeah you can you can prove the point right. and, and also not get the point at the same time okay is it is it midnight what time is it okay now it's okay <laughs> oh, oh boeing Boeing, the Boeing space program successfully launched their Starliner spacecraft into orbit. I know. Uh, it has taken a long time and a lot of technical problems to get the rocket up in orbit. But a Boeing spokesman said, we really solved all the problems with the spacecraft when we started taking parts from all of our other planes. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was a good. That one. was very good. Yeah. Uh, right to the hoop. No, nope, I missed it. <laughs> Madonna. We all love to talk about Madonna. Madonna just performed the largest attended concert in history. One point six million people in Brazil. It was all a coincidence, though, as Madonna went on so late to perform, she got the audiences of the next three concerts. <laughs> Where's Moon <laughs> Five? Where's Moon Five? She just three other shows showed up. Uh -huh. Okay. It is not it is not a well kept secret that Madonna never performs when the show's supposed to start. Has anybody been to a Madonna concert, by the way? My yeah. wife went. She usually makes crowds wait three to four hours before getting on stage. Did you know that? Wow. Is that incredible? Wow. Madonna makes people wait so long for her to perform. How long does How she long make people does wait? wait? How long does she wait? She makes people wait so long, Trump took 32 naps and used a case of diapers. <laughs> <laughs> That's only a half an hour. That's only half an hour. Oh, well, okay. Pretty quick. Madonna makes people wait so long to perform. How long does she make people wait to perform? She makes people wait so long that her plastic surgeon had to refresh her Botox during Like a Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna makes people wait so long for her to perform. How long does she make people wait to perform? She make them wait. Well done, everybody. She makes people wait so long to her perform. Papa started preaching again. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I know. Okay. Hey, More. You're, all lucky. you're all lucky. There's only three left. More. <laughs> I mean, three pages. Sorry. <laughs> and the winner of the Kentucky Derby by a nose was Mystic Dan. Mystic. You didn't see? Yeah. It was an amazing race. Man, that was first time in 28 years that, that a horse has won by a nose, uh, <laughs> which is coincidental because after the race, the losing horses jockeys were all led to the barn where they said, do I smell glue? Nah. Oh. <laughs> not good. I'm not killing them. They are. <laughs> hey, who's got a TV on or something? Turn it off. Oh, it's my brother. Because my purpose is getting revenge. Somebody in a high school. Is that Carla? Nah, my brother. Carla wouldn't do that. Carla would never make noise. It was my brother. It's too okay. bad Carla just showed up after the CPAP joke. You would have enjoyed that. Yeah, she could have done a song. We could have brought oh, well. her in to sing. Oh, well. Thousands of Swedes have had a microchip implanted into their wrists as a form of payment to pay things. And that payment is their soul. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, anybody, anybody thinking that they're going to do this? Because that's coming. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm not. I mean, I... I don't know if I'm against getting things implanted because you can get a, a cochlear implant, you get on it, but I don't know about the, uh, I don't know, that's a little scary. Okay, speaking of scary, we are Borg. the who? We are Borg. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, speaking of scary, a man trying to get through security at Miami airport was found to have two snakes in his pants. <laughs> yep. TA noticed the little wigglers, no pun intended, as the man was trying to pass through and know he was not happy to see you. Uh, <laughs> thanks, by the way the snakes were given to florida wildlife where one of them was very worried about the really 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 tiny friend they left behind nah. <laughs> oh my god oh my god where's <laughs> <laughs> that garfunkel and <laughs> What? <laughs> that the name of the snake, Sulu Garfunkel. And- <laughs> <laughs> they just did it. it up. Hang on that. Okay, <laughs> I think she's taking a pill. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh! Right wingers are about to go nuts and do a bunch of lying. Did you see this? The IRS audits are about to surge to incredible levels. That's mm-hmm. right. Get ready for your Uncle Bob to get really angry that the revenues are, revenuers are coming to check his numbers on the $900 in taxes he paid last year. Oh, <laughs> and that's both security, Social Security and Medicare. By the way, let's be clear. The IRS will only be auditing people who make over $400,000 a year, okay? But, wow. uh, but that news will not stop every sovereign citizen from burying every cent of his money in the backyard to keep Joe Biden from getting it. Uh, but first he has to cash his unemployment check. <laughs> so I guarantee Fox news is going to tell every, everybody making $10,000 that they're going to get their money taken away. <laughs> now there's only two left. Southern South Dakota governor, Christy Nome is still trying to explain her book. Oh, and this week, she blamed her ghostwriter for the inconsistencies in the story. Uh, she said, I tried to give him a hand up, but now I'm regretting, regretting hiring George Santos for this job. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, that was regretting. I don't know how you. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes I have trouble. We're learning new words. Adam is a child. Or new new words. <laughs> and last but least, <laughs> breaking news. Uh, uh, Polite attempted to shoot Germany at a church in Braddock, but the gun jammed and Polite was tackled by McAllister while a woman in the back yelled, Kevin! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know what that story is, you're smart, but you probably That's right. Know. That's Brad Tassel, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, Does anyone know what that story was? <laughs>